guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Kanika and today I am doing what I would like to be the start of my non-fitness and my first ever fashion video. Now you know that 60% of my wardrobe is active wear but then I have this other 40% and I felt like it was only fair to show you guys that. So if you have not seen my active wear video yet, I'm gonna link it down in the description. You wanna check that out. And for the remaining 40, keep watching. Before I start that, I just wanna give you guys the disclaimer that I'm neither a fashion influencer, nor a fashion blogger, nor a fashion stylist. I'm just somebody who really likes clothes. I love shopping and I love taking photos of myself in them. So that's what we're doing here. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and tell me what other videos you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe because why wouldn't you want to see this face on your screen or your TV every week without fail? So naturally, the first thing that I need to talk about in my 10 absolute fashion must-haves are basics in my opinion having a good quality black and white basic t-shirt in your wardrobe is so important there are so many different ways to wear your normal black or white top on a daily basis you can dress it up you can dress it down you can wear it to lunch you can wear it to brunch you can wear it for dinner you can wear it on a date you can wear it to the theater you can wear it to sleep sometimes i wear it to sleep but if you open my closet that is one of the first things that you will see is a basic black top and a basic white top. My black t-shirt is from Zara. In my opinion, getting your basics, basics? In my opinion, getting your basic t-shirts from Zara is great because they're great quality. They don't wash out really easily and they're not very expensive. So my first absolute fashion must have is to have neutral, basic, t-shirts. I would suggest to buy something that's a little more expensive but will last you really really long. My second absolute must-have and you've probably seen me wear this a million times and that is crops. I have literally crops in every color. I love wearing crop tops. It's one of the things you've probably seen me wear all the time. I have a basic black crop top that's what i'm wearing right now i have a basic white crop top i have crop tops in a million colors i just feel like that's those are things that i've had over the course of time i have purchased them and they have still served me well i still wear them almost every single day you can like i said dress them up i always wear them with denims and sneakers that is my go-to look I find that you get some of the best crop tops again in Zara. I feel like I'm going to be saying Zara and H&M a lot in this video. But that's honestly because those are the only two places I majorly shop at. Um, I also feel like they're not very expensive. So I have them in different colors and then you can always jacket them and maybe wear a good pair of leggings or some denims. You can even wear them with a skirt. The options are endless, really. Third thing that is an absolute must have in my cupboard is, and I know that, again, I'm gonna say this, you have seen me wear this so many times, especially in the colder seasons, and that is a good quality jacket. I cannot stress this enough. I have worn my jacket over 500 times. I wear them everywhere I go. Genuinely, if you wanna invest in something, I'd say buy a good, um, denim jacket may be a little bit on the expensive side because it'll last you. Uh, the one that I have is from Only. I have had it for years if I'm not wrong. My sister has worn it and then I've gotten it. A denim jacket is something that you don't have to buy a bazillion of. I have two denim jackets uh, in my cupboard. One is a little bit on the oversized um, end and the other one is a crop denim jacket. You can wear it everywhere you go. Now that we're done talking about jackets, let's move on to what I would like to say is the most important part of my cupboard and that is jeans. It can make or break your outfit. I always buy my denims from Zara because they're great quality. I know that Zara denims are a little on the expensive end. I have been on the lookout for a good pair of high-waisted denims for the longest time. If you know me, you know I like high-waisted everything. Um, 
my denim is my favorite piece of denim right now is from Zara uh, they are a little bit on the lighter blue wash so when I went and bought the lighter blue one I liked another color and I picked those up so I have many colors of one specific type of jeans I will try and link them another recent addition to my wardrobe has been a super wide leg denim jeans situation you have seen this on Instagram because I've been wearing them way too often ever since I got them amazing quality and there are just so many ways that you can dress them up or down if you find a pair of jeans that are not like crawling into your legs keep them and then buy them in many colors but blue or black another must-have in my wardrobe is a good classic white shirt I have tried searching for a good white shirt for far too long and I genuinely feel like now is when I have found them because we've all had that one white shirt in our closet that has just been washed so many times and now has lost color, looks off-white, has uh, food stains from 5,000 years ago and requires ironing desperately. There are just so many ways to wear a good white shirt and you could have shirts in different colors but white shirt is just it's a classic. I got my shirt from uh, Zara. It was not expensive. It has this really nice red detailing on the collars that I really like. On that note, another thing that I feel like everybody should have in their wardrobe and that is a good high-waisted pair of shorts. I know that those have been absolutely essential to me over the period of time. Um, I've always had low-rise shorts but I just feel like high-waisted is amazing. I got mine from Forever 21 if I'm not wrong uh, and it has lasted me for a couple of years now. I also feel like it is very important to find shorts that do not suffocate you and your organs if you know what I mean and in my opinion you get some of the nicest quality shorts from either Forever 21 or H&M. I also feel like it is really difficult to find a pair of shorts that are not uh, above your butt and cover them completely uh, but yeah finding a good pair of shorts that cover just about everything and let you breathe uh, is a miracle so if you find one stick to it uh, those are my two favorite brands now let's talk about what comprises of like 40 percent of my wardrobe and that is basic bodycon dresses if you open my cupboard right now that is what you're going to find in literally every color i like ribbed dresses short and long that completely hug uh, my body uh, makes me feel extremely confident it's just something that I enjoy wearing uh, so if you open it right now you're just gonna find one in every single color you get the best ones from H&M and I'm pretty sure I have like 10 of them from H&M but uh, even recently Zara has been doing a phenomenal job at uh, bodycon dresses that are actually really high in quality my staple looks are uh, just wearing a nice basic solid color body contrast with my denim jacket and sneakers almost did not take any effort and you look so put together I love it now that we're on the topic of that let's talk about shoes and I, I feel like I don't need to say this but if you have seen me literally anywhere on the street on instagram in my selfies just about anywhere something that you've always seen me wear is a good pair of converse because i live in them i have converse in white black olive green i love converse you can literally wear i have i wear my converse on everything everything um, I found mine from the Converse store and they're not at all expensive. They will last you. You know when your Converse starts looking all like off whitey and worn? That's my favorite time to wear them. Uh, but new Converse is great too. I recently got an olive green pair of Converse which is to die for. Um, it, just, it's, it just makes your entire outfit look... I'm a sneakers gal so I'm always wearing sneakers always I have wanted the Fila chunkies for years now and when everybody started to get them that's when I felt like maybe I shouldn't get and then I got myself a good pair of Zara chunkies and they are extremely comfortable very stylish and 
go with way too many outfits. Um, this was a little bit on the expensive side because they're from Zara, uh, but 100% uh, worth it. Very thick, so you won't get hurt. And I mean, you can kick somebody with them if that's something you want to know. Now let's talk about oversized jackets. I have spoken about my oversized denim jackets, but another thing that I feel like recently I have been loving is colored oversized jackets. Recently been getting them in all different colors. You have seen my favorite olive green one. I actually got them from Shein. So this is one of my absolute favorites from Shein. And I feel like there was a time where everybody was wearing uh, black leggings. I had initially thought of putting these into this must-have video, but I just I realized that I have not been wearing them very often because they don't fit me. I think I'm ready to say goodbye to leggings. However, I feel like I owe it to you guys to show you what has been my absolute favorite, amazing quality leggings. I bought these one from Zara. They are extremely high quality. You can literally wash them a million times. I have tried buying them from H&M but I just feel like uh, they start losing uh, quality and they look really old and faded so this, the Zara ones have actually done me really well they have the side zippers and I really like that I obviously don't I'm gonna try and put a clip of me wearing it here but I just don't know if it'll go up my thighs that is a good fashion must have now let's talk about bags I'm going to be honest, Till until recently I was not a bag person, I couldn't care about bags. Uh, I have been obsessing over my black bum bag which you have obviously seen, I wear it all the time. I love it. I know that people are still not very comfortable with the idea of roaming around with a fanny pack but I'm going to be honest, it is so convenient and it's, it's just my favorite, I mean you can make fun of me for it. I got this one from H&M, uh, it was not expensive and really good quality. I got a nice black basic one because it somehow goes with all of my outfits. Bag, I also really like sling bags, I just feel like you can wear them everywhere you go. I have a whole bunch, I've not bought any of them, they are from my sister or from my mom but uh, a good sling bag that goes on everything. I have also really been liking quads. Um, I like the whole point of having a matching pant and a matching top or a matching skirt and a matching top or uh, jumpsuits. I really like that. I uh, enjoy wearing uh, just one pieces that are very comfortable. Uh, the blue one that I got is actually from Shein, so unfortunately, that's not an option. Uh, the red one that I also got is from Shein, again not an option. Um, the white one that I got however is from H&M so if you are looking for that I'm gonna try and link something similar in the description. I love wearing jumpsuits and quad sets. You just, it just makes you look like you've put in an effort to dress up when you haven't, you know. Love that. Uh, they're also very comfortable and very like vacationist. So every time I wear them, I want to be on a holiday. So I've been wearing them at home, so I don't feel so sucky about being at home. Another thing that I really want to add in my fashion must-haves are good pants. Now, um, apart from wearing denims and apart from wearing uh, skirts and stuff, I have really been liking wearing uh, good quality pants. I'm currently wearing my olive green uh, I don't know what they're gonna what they're called but I'm gonna try and link something similar they are so comfortable you can literally wear them and they also make you look very dressy these ones I got from H&M the last thing in my wardrobe that I absolutely love are blazers I I'm a blazer person I just want to say that like I love suits I love wearing suits uh, maybe I don't know maybe in time you'll find me only wearing suits everywhere currently I have a black blazer a red blazer I also have an orange blazer a pink blazer a beige blaze bla beige blazer that is it makes you look so 
professional but at the same time you can dress them up or down you can wear them to work you can wear them on a date you can literally wear them everywhere i'm saying dates when i don't have any makes makes me sad uh this everything else on me is honestly stolen that's my sisters that's my sisters those are my sisters those are all of my absolute fashion must haves they genuinely make up for my entire closet i have been making a conscious effort to avoid fast fashion if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye